40 years since the inaugural voyage back in the NASL days of 1975. We're catching up with some great timbers from the past. Tonight, we reconnect with one of the guys who has his name hanging up in the rafters. The club's all-time leader in goals and assists who came stateside in 1978. A proud member of that ring of honor, John Bain. Uh, this one here is a goal where I scored my second goal against Cosmos. I think because of that and because of that initial uh, first league, I think soccer kind of started off. You always thought it was going to come quicker than it has. John Bain came to the United States from Scotland in the fourth season of the NASL Timbers on loan from Bristol City. But then he spent the next five years in Soccer City, USA. The difference now is, is the fans at that point didn't really have a great understanding of the game, but they just wanted a winner. Uh, where now I think there's a... Uh, People have a better understanding growing up with the game, having an understanding of, you know, now you've got all these leagues that around the world that are shown on TV, which wasn't shown in the old days. Uh, so the fans, you know, appreciate the game more and understand the game more than what they did then. And I did score a few goals for the Timbers, but this is the only log I got. Proud owner of that first hat trick in club history, Bain did more than just get a slab from Timber Jim. But it wasn't much early on making 1400 bucks a month in 1978. Well, actually, there was some good money going around in the NESL. I mean, uh, you know, when Louisiana Pacific took over the club in 1980, we had uh, some world-class players that came over to play for us that were making a lot of money. And obviously, I made a little bit more money at that point as well. I think I was making twenty-five dollars to $30,000. But we had some players that were making uh, between one hundred and three dollars and $400,000 at that time. Like, we had a player called Robbie Rensenbrink who uh, in 1978 played in the World Cup final and was the second top goal scorer in the World Cup that actually played in Portland. So there were some fantastic players that were over here at that time. I think what happened was there was a lot of money flying around and that was my, maybe one of the demises of the league is there was all this money but no TV contract and and also uh, the fans in some of the cities, there wasn't a fan base that what there is now. Eventually the money dried out for the Timbers and everyone else in the league. It was interesting, I finished playing outdoor shock and I was 26, 27, so it was kind of a tough situation, but I still loved America and I still believed the game was going to grow here. And you just kept hoping it would come back again, but it never did. Yeah, and you had to go to Seattle. I had to go to Seattle, that was a tough decision, but uh, at the same time it was, uh, and when I went to Seattle, I folded them, so, <laughs> yeah. and then... House uh, of cars behind you. Yeah, when I left Seattle uh, and they folded, I moved down to play for, for the earthquakes. After some six or so stops, both indoor and outdoor, Bain returned to Portland to raise a family. Coaching both the Mountain View and Park Rose High teams in the early 1990s. It was hanging in the office. The operations manager for the West Side Timbers has three more boys now in the eighth grade or younger. And old number six, still remembered at what was Multnomah Stadium, now Providence Park. And you walk into the park and your, your name's up there in the <laughs> ring of honor. I mean, that's got to be pretty dang neat, too, to be recognized game in and game out of, of one of the greats from the olden days. Yeah, I mean, obviously... As I said, being part of the Old Timbers and seeing how the game has progressed and, and just seeing the just the feel of the game right now. And, and I, I, obviously the team is, is, is a good team, a great team. That I think that we've got a good infrastructure, a great coaching, great uh, organization all the way through. And just to see that and know that the team is going to be here and it's going to be here for a long time and that soccer's finally arrived is is really rewarding to see that and i think that obviously it's not the you know american football league or it's not basketball or it's not baseball but i now see soccer being at the point where it's maybe starting to compete and maybe overtake hockey and it's really incredible to see that because in those days we were always that sport that was just just there john bain good dude next week we go to Meet up with Willie Anderson. A reminder to set those DVRs for Oregon Sports final every Sunday at 11 o'clock over on Fox 12 and here on PBX TV as well.